Hello, hello. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's Friday. Friday, Friday. All right, I'm going to do two skinny tumblers. These are the taper tumblers. I'm going to do two different designs. These came from wall to wall vinyl. Very cute. I love me some tigers. So we're going to do those. So before I turn my oven on, I want to show you guys one of these. You got to have one of these for your oven. So I put mine, it's between the 350 and the four. It's right there in the middle. All right. So whatever temp that is, I don't know, but it works for me. So I just set it right there. Go ahead and let me turn my, um, doo -doo -doo. there we go. Let that warm up. Because this knob is a little bit past the 300 mark. So, let me put this right here in the middle. There we go. All right. And then this is on bake. Everybody, depending on what kind of oven you got, you know, some people do turbo, some do um, whatever. I just left it on bake. And um, it works for me. It might not work for everybody because everybody, you know, some things work, some don't. And then you got definitely got to have a, um, a heat gun or a blow dryer people use. Um, I use shrink wrap. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and um, make sure you wipe your tumbler down. Make sure any dust and all that is off of it. And sorry for that noise. My dog wants to um, eat breakfast now. So, so I'm going to go ahead and um, turn the camera down and you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm going to, um, and then I just make sure that I got it real tight. been a minute and then I tape it I put a tape right there make sure it's tight my tape just came undone there we go Make sure it's tight up here. Some people do all different ways. You just got to find what works for you. Some people tuck it. Some people tape it. Some people do um, silicone. It's, it's what works for you. And so far, um, I haven't had no problems doing it um, this way. But like I said, it's been a good minute. So we'll see if I have lost my touch. So I make sure it's tight. Like I can't, you know, move it, do anything. All right. Make sure it's tight, tight. Oh my goodness, my dog is hungry. So I totally apologize. So let me just put some tape. Some people go overboard with the tape. Um, you know, everybody's different. You just got to see what works for you. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put it in my shrink wrap. So I just put tape just like that. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm going to put it in here. Put it in the middle. I'm going to put the seam where my tape is on the inside. All right. Then we're just going to go ahead, move my tape out of the way. 
Make sure it's even. Get your gun. I put it on low for now. Make sure all the wrinkles are out. Keep it moving. We don't want to activate the ink yet. Make sure it's all tight. There we go. One done. And the temperature's almost there, so um, I'll get the other one ready. So it comes in a box. Comes in a little plastic bag. It's all depending on um, where you buy from. Mine come with um, metal straws, but these are old. A lot of them are changing to um, plastic. There's a part that goes on the bottom when you're all done. So, let me get the other one ready. Get me some tape. I have it ready this time. Move that over there just like that right there there all right these are perfect tumblers um for the cold for the heat keeps your stuff cold keeps it hot whatever you are wanting it to do it does so i love them never have um, too many um, tumblers that's for sure because I make sure it's real tight when I originally started I did a, um did it in a mug in a mug press full bleed and everything Then my mug press, you know, I couldn't take it. I burnt the little handles and everything trying to hold it closed and tight. So, so why not try the oven? The oven, at least I can get more in. If I want to do, um, want to do more at one time. Usually I don't, just to make sure, um, my oven is, um, I remember because sometimes I do forget to set the timer. Yeah, that's not, um, <laughs> that's not fun. All right, so there we go. I'm going to put another tape right here. And that's how I do it. All right, everybody is different. So, make sure it doesn't move all that good stuff we're still waiting for the temp to get up there so we'll go ahead and set this one up put it somewhat in the middle kind of make it even for the top and bottom all right So you definitely want to um, make sure I got my little glove ready. I got my scissors and then I got my weed eating. 
because you do got to take um, the shrink wrap off when it's soft before it gets hard. Let me unplug my gun. Get it out of the way. And I think, you know, you got to be careful when you do black because black will be undercooked, overcooked, undercooked is green, um, overcooked black is brown. So you definitely got to, um, oops, let me adjust it then you guys can see that. Okay. Um, definitely got to um, make sure you got your, your color. So trying black, you know, your first time. I wouldn't recommend it. I would try a light color and stuff and then um, go from there. Because with light colors, you might not be able to, um, you know, you don't see somewhat um, the mess ups if there is, um, you know, light or anything like that. So we're almost to the temperature. You can't rush it. That's the only thing. So, um, so just make sure your shrink wrap doesn't have any wrinkles in it, any bubbles, um, anything like that. Um, everybody does it different. Uh, this oven is the Hampton Beach Extra Large. So I know different ovens um, run different. Some people can do it um, less, more heat, less heat, less time, more time. Um, my time for me is about three to four minutes. I do not rotate. I do not open it up. I just set it. Um, I stand it up and um, I let it do its thing. So we're almost there. We're just past the 300 mark. You see it's not, it doesn't take this long, but it's still, um, it's still going. Still, still cooking. Okay, now it's shut off. So now I'm going to move my little knob. Then it can turn back on. So this was set at three, and that's what it says in there. So we'll go ahead and move it to the 350 mark. And let it hit the 350. So if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. You know, everybody has a different technique. You just, you know, what works for you. It's all trial and error. It's getting there. It's getting there. I will, um... Yeah, I told you the designs came from wall, the number two, wall, vinyl. And I also did them on um, sports bras, um, socks, and um, boy shorts. So definitely can um, do a lot of things with one image. That is for sure. Sometimes you got to think outside the box. Hopefully you guys don't mind the weight. You never know if you should like pause the video and then come back when it's ready. But then some people think they missed something because you paused it and then bam, you got the finished product when you don't know if that's the actual same one that you put in. So it's kind of hard. <laughs> so we're just going to wait. We're almost there, almost there. Um, and now I, I think um, I think this was the first one I did. I think this is the one that has the words. So we'll put that one in first. Let me get my um, timer over here. And um, get that set. Um, I think I'll go four minutes. I think we'll do four minutes. I should have checked my notes. Doo, doo, doo. We're still, we're still reaching. We're still going, going, going. We're almost there, almost there, almost there. Mm-hmm. 
I moved my little knob to 350 because it seems like it's holding steady um, right there. So go ahead and let it kick back on. Maybe it's, it's still cooking in there. If you had a mud press, you might have been done by now. Or a tumbler press, you could have probably been done by now. But um, I didn't want to turn the oven on before I showed you my little gauge. Then you guys know what I'm talking about. But I wait for it to get my little thing to get between the 350 and the 400 mark. Man, it's just now I'm passing the little 350. So there we go. My little thingies have both turned on now. So we is cooking, we cooking, we cooking. Almost there, almost there, almost there. There we go, there we go. We doing it, we doing it, we doing it. There you go, we just clicked off, I believe. Yep, it did, so let me move it up again. Because we're still not there. Okay, let it kick on again. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, see, I just set the timer. But since I didn't hit it, I guess it closed. All right, let's do it. Let me set my clock over here. Four minutes. Get my everything ready for me. Get all my little tools. Let me put this back down. And depending on what paper you use, after I'm um, depending, you know, I would say halfway or so, you should start seeing your image um, coming through. That kind of tells you. Um, but depending on, like I said, depending on what paper, sometimes you won't see it because the ink is totally, um, gone from the paper. So, got three minutes to go, one minute down. <laughs> He's cooking, cooking. These are the skinny taper 20 ounce tumblers we are doing. When it totally cools, cools down, you can put your little rubber thing on the bottom. Two minutes to go. And I don't rotate it. I don't open it. My temperatures, it's staying steady. Minute and a half to go. Um, you can put more than one in if you want. Um, a lot of people do. A lot of people put it on the rack and roll it. It's all up to you. you Gotta find what works for you. We're gonna see if this still works for me or if I gotta change up something. There I go. I start seeing my image coming through. We got a minute to go. 
I can see the writing and the tiger popping through. Yep, yep, yep. We did four minutes. Thirty seconds to go. And then if I need to adjust my um time, then I will. Because you definitely don't want to um overcook the um the black. You don't want it brown. You don't want it undercooked and have it green. There we go. Let's get it. Make sure to take that part off. Come find your seam. There you go. One good rip. go let's check it out so I do see a little browning on the side right there on the top but not too bad so um that means I'll dress my um my thing but look oh my goodness it's gorgeous gorgeous Look at that. All right. So if I'm going to keep it at the same temp, I'm going to go ahead and drop my seconds down because it's starting to burn right there. So we're going to drop it down to 350. I mean, three minutes and 50. No. Oh, my gosh. Three minutes and 25. There we go. Okay, my temp is back up. Let me go ahead, right 325. That's all right. Drop it like it's hot. Hit start. And we should be okay. So bleed onto the tumbler um, shrink wrap. if it's cooled down no it's not cooled down you can also people do um they go ahead and um put it in water then you can stop the sublimation but here's the bottom can you see Doo -doo. nice so just a little browning up here but gorgeous tiger look at those eyes oh my goodness oh my goodness love it love it love it oh my tumbler is in there dancing it's dancing we got two minutes left As long as it don't fall over, we okay. Beautiful. No problems on the top. My seam is good. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is on a tapered um, skinny tumbler. one minute and 20 seconds to go 
Let's see if I can start seeing the image coming through a little bit, barely. So we'll see. We'll see if this one's going to be undercooked or not. But my tiger came out great. Yes. I love it. Be strong when you are weak. Brave when you are scared. Humble when you are victorious. Beautiful. Love it. You can also probably put this on um, a canvas because it's a, just a square. Um, so you can put it on a canvas and um, hang it on the wall. Put it on a shirt. There's so many different things you can do with it. I am seeing it come through a little bit. We got 10 seconds to go. A little eerie. I hope it's done. We'll see. We'll see if there's any green or brown going on. There we go. So let me shut my oven off. out right. find my um my seam right here be careful it is hot all right there we go beautiful 325 Three minutes, 25 seconds. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, let it cool down a little bit. Let me see, did it bleed through? So barely started bleeding through. Barely started bleeding through and it was done. There's no real ink left on my paper, so. Um, so three minutes, 25 seconds. Um, we're a little bit close to the 400 mark. My little arrow's right under the tip of the four in there. So, um, whoops. All right, let me get this one. Show you. Do, 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 do. There you go. Beautiful. There's my seam. The bottom. Some people have top problems with the top and the bottom. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I did better on this seam. My paper probably wasn't um, tight enough because it kind of fades out here, right there. Alrighty, there we go. If you guys have any questions, I would try to do my best to answer them. This oven is um, Hampton Beach Extra Large. I put it on bake around the 350, 400 mark. So I think it's like 375 in there. We tried this one for four minutes. And I got a little browning right there. So that's burnt. My black got burnt. This one was at three minutes and 25 seconds. This one came out great. So, no, um, everything was good on this one. So, beautiful. Beautiful. Got me some nice tumblers. Keep my drink cold. Keep my drink hot. Oh, let me show you. This one's still warm. So, we'll go ahead and um, put the sticker on the bottom. 
I try to line it up the best I can. Get it on there. There's your top. Mine have metal um, straws. There we go. We is ready. We ready. All right. Until next time. Have a good one. See you guys soon. Bye.